To the Middle East now, at least 10 people have been killed and five others injured by an Israeli airstrike in southern Lebanon, according to the country's health ministry. Israel Defense Forces confirmed the strike in Nabatia City, claiming to have hit a military installation that was housing weapons for Hezbollah. Meanwhile, the US President Joe Biden's indicated he's now more optimistic about a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas than he was in previous months. I'm optimistic, not far from over. Just a couple more issues, I think we got a shot. Are you more optimistic now than you have been in months past? Yes. Why? If I told you that, I'd give away what's going on. When would the ceasefire begin if you can get a deal? That remains to be seen. Well, since President Biden spoke there, there has been another Israeli strike in central Gaza. A house and warehouse shelter were hit early this morning, with hospital authorities claiming at least 18 people were killed, including a family of 15. The Israeli military has today ordered another mass evacuation in parts of central Gaza, including residential blocks near the so-called humanitarian area. Our Middle East correspondent Alistair Bunkel has sent us this update from Jerusalem. The fighting goes on in Gaza and along the Lebanese-Israeli border. A series of airstrikes in both locations over the last few hours. Uh, Hezbollah has fired, we're told, more than 50 missiles back into northern Israel, some of which have uh, sparked fires in the hills around the border area. And you have these kind of dual tracks going on. Israel still fighting a war in Gaza, still fighting a conflict on its northern border, but at the same time, uh, progress made in ceasefire talks that seem to have gone pretty well over Thursday and Friday in Doha. The teams have now split up. The Israeli team is back in Israel. Tomorrow they will meet with the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and they will debrief and decide uh, where to go from there. The US Secretary of State Antony Blinken is due to arrive in Israel tomorrow night as well. He will then uh, meet the Prime Minister on Monday and we'll see whether or not uh, his trip takes him elsewhere around the region. But the diplomatic pressure is staying on both sides to try and come to this deal. I think the Americans are sounding uh, particularly optimistic, Hamas much more sceptical. They don't and according to a statement, believe that Israel is serious about a deal. They think that the negotiations as they stand at the moment uh, still contain significant gaps between the two sides. Uh, I think from what I'm hearing from the Israelis, there is some quiet optimism. They're taking it seriously. They believe that the potential for a deal could be there. But in you know, the coming days, when the two sides are now are going to be discussing it uh, internally, Hamas uh, with Yahya Sinwar in Gaza, and as I said, the Israeli team uh, with the Israeli Prime Minister, and then the idea is they will reconvene in Cairo uh, towards the back end of next week, when the Americans and the other mediators, Qatar and Egypt, hope that a deal can be finalised. We'll see whether that is the case or not.